Hi, I wanted to take a minute to show you how to do those animations on Google Slides. So let's start with the presentation that was already created and let's add some animation to it. So on this slide that has several pictures, let's have them come in differently. So first thing you, that you'll want to do is click on one of the objects, so one of the pictures. Go up here to the toolbar and under insert click on animation and then over on the right hand side another bar will pop up with uh, basically a, a log of the different animations that you'll do on the slide so for the first one let's go ahead and do this um, with the the standard fade in on click so there are different options here then we'll explore those later uh, the on click simply means that the animations will start with the click of the button so when you're ready to go you can start the animations. You can also identify how long you want each animation to last. The first one here is pretty fast so we'll slow it down just a little bit and then we'll move on to the next. So again click on the object, add animation, this time I'm going to play around with it, do something different. I'll have this one appear. Now I'm going to change, once we have the first photo coming in on a click, let's have the other ones just come in after the previous one. So I might want to slow it down a little bit more though, so there's time for people to see each photo as they appear separately. Okay, so we're going to keep it up change around the animation type. Again, continue to link each one. So you can just follow along. With this part. And our final one. And we are just about there. Okay, so down on the bottom here, I can actually check my work by hitting this play button, and I can see this particular slide as it goes. So I gotta click on that first time again to start the animations. And then over here, I can watch this cursor as each animation comes in. All right, and there you have it. I also learned that I can change the order once I have it set up here. So if, say for example I want this third picture to come in before the second one. So if I click on the third one and just uh, drag it up, now I've got it in a different order. I can play it again to see the change. and then I stop. And of course I can go back into any of these and change the duration or change the type of animation, etc. Now let's look at a slide that has all words. So in this uh, particular slide we have really two objects. The title is an object and then the, these different phrases are an object. So we'll take that first object and again insert animation. We'll have this one just fade in on a click so I know or actually let's have this one just come in after previous which means once it started. We're going to click on by paragraph so it all comes in at the same time and um, again it doesn't really matter how fast it comes in to begin with. Now for the second one if I click on the whole object it means all of these words will come in at the same time. However, I did learn that if I click animation and say I decide that I want them all to come in by uh, zoom in, and then I have them come in after previous, which means that they'll all come in automatically. Again, if I click by paragraph, this time each of the phrases will actually come in separately. So I might slow this one down a little bit. So let's check it out. So if I hit play, there's my title. 
and now each of my phrases comes in separately. So that's kind of a cool little feature there. So that's that by paragraph feature. So uh, I can stop the animation in both cases. I can uh, remove this sidebar simply by clicking the X and it will still um, keep my animations there. So if I go to present, I can see what it looks like live. All right, and that's the size of it. Hope that helps.